There are various ways to record parameter changes in live. In this next video, we'll take a closer look at clip automation. Recording automation to parameters within devices, MIDI control, or the mixer can help create more expressive and musical parts. We can apply automation either over an entire track or within individual clips. Here, I have a wavetable device that is playing a lead pattern and I'd like to record automation over a four bar loop. To do this, first alarm the track. I'll then activate the automation arm in the session record buttons. Live is now ready to record any parameters that I adjust. Or if I was using a MIDI controller, I could record the automation simultaneously. A note, recording for longer than the duration of the clip would override any previous automation. When I finish recording, I'll toggle off session record. To view the recorded automation, I can go to the clip view in the detail view and select the envelope icon. Now from the device chooser, I can select any devices that have been loaded onto the track. Any parameters or devices with automation will have a red dot beside them. I can limit the chooser to devices or parameters with automation by selecting only show adjusted envelopes. To delete this automation, I simply right click and select clear envelope. Instead of recording the automation and using my mouse or MIDI controller, I can record it in using breakpoints. To create a breakpoint, I simply click the red line and drag with my mouse to move it. Moving a breakpoint will snap it to the current resolution of my grid. In this case, 1 8. I can change this by right clicking and choosing a different resolution. To work outside of my specified grid, I'll hold Command or Control to move the breakpoint. I can also define my own value by right clicking the breakpoint and selecting Edit Value. I can now define an exact value for my breakpoint. If there is a gradient between the two breakpoints and you'd like to have a curve instead of a straight line, simply move the cursor close to the line and it will highlight in blue. You can now hold down the Alt or Option button and move the cursor. You are now able to create a curve between the two breakpoints. By highlighting a portion of time and opening the contextual menu, you can also add predefined automation shapes. These are also set to our current grid. In addition, by highlighting either the whole clip or a portion of time, you can further transform your automation. To draw automation in with your computer keyboard, press B or select the draw switch mode at the top right hand corner. Instead of each track needing to be armed, I can record the automation for all playing clips. To do this, I'll open Live's Preferences and navigate to the Record, Warp, Launch tab. In the Record section, I'll set Record Session Automation in to all tracks. Once I toggle on Session Record, I can now record the automation into all playing clips. <laughs> 